Today is day 61 of my COVID-19 blog, and for the past week, it's been Mental Health Awareness Week, and people with autism and Asperger's, like myself, also sometimes um, have mental health issues as well. And at the very start of the lockdown for the first few weeks, I was suffering quite a lot with anxiety, but I kind of feel a lot better now because some of the restrictions have been relaxed and now I can meet friends and play golf. So since the restrictions were relaxed and golf clubs reopened, I've played golf three times. So I played golf last week with one of my best friends and it was absolutely fantastic and it almost felt like completely normal and you completely forgot about all the things that were going on with the lockdown and, and everything like that. So it took your mind off everything. Uh, I've also been going over and having a walk with one of my other best friends. So we go for a walk around her local area. And on the last walk we went on, we went walking all through the woods and all around one of her local golf clubs. And it was so nice. Being able to meet friends and family is absolutely unbelievable. And it really does make you, like I've said, make you feel like everything's normal and like you forget things. The social distancing rule sometimes is a little bit difficult. Um, and sometimes you do remember the little things that you miss. Like, for instance, when you're walking past someone on the road, you have to stand aside or two metres apart from someone. So often we have to stand in someone's drive so that we can let people pass. And even though that we're social distancing from other people, we also, me and my friend, have to social distance from each other because we're from other households, so that's a little bit difficult. And then when I go back to her house, I can't go in for a drink, um, I can't give her a hug. So that can be a little bit difficult, but at least, you know, we can see each other because just seeing each other um, is really, really helping me. Um, and I've also been doing quite a lot of different things. So over the past week or so, I've been doing some more work. So I downloaded the latest versions of Microsoft. So there's some fantastic things you can do on like Word and Excel and PowerPoint now. Uh, and my mum, who's a Microsoft teacher, has been teaching me some of those. I've also been booked to do uh, some webinars. So that's absolutely fantastic. And also, you know, going back to talking about my friends, you know, my two best friends that I see, that I've been seeing quite a bit now that the restrictions have been relaxed. Um, one was my dad's best friend from school and the other one is my aunt's best friend from college. And they've become my best friends and my dad's best friend has always been my best friend ever since I was a little boy. And we've always loved sport and played sport and watched sport together. So we're very, very close. And then my aunt's best friend, she's always been like an aunt to me really, um, even though she's my aunt's best friend. But over the last year or so, we've become really, really close. And I know they're a lot older than me, you know, they're 30, 40 years older than me. But as I say, you know, you can't choose who you, you can choose your family, you can't choose um, your family, but you can choose your friends. And I've never, ever got on with anyone as well as, as those two, to be honest. And it's absolutely fantastic to have friends like them. And, and they've been really helping me over the lockdown. And even though they're a lot older than me, and you would think that we probably wouldn't have that much in common, we really do have so much in common. You know, um, my best friend who I go on walks with, you know, we like the same music, the same food, the same things on the TV. We find the same things funny. She likes football. So, you know, we've got so much in common. And just because she's older than me makes no difference. Um, age is just a number, as I always say. So I'm trying to do some of the things during the lockdown now that I won't have time to do when the lockdown ends. So playing golf, going on walks with my family and friends, doing jobs around the house. You know, I'm trying to do all the things that I won't have time to do when the lockdown ends. And that's one of the ways that I'm keeping myself really, really busy. And, you know, I still have wobbles, as I always will, but that's one of the ways that I am keeping myself positive.